what we got is a 2002 Honda Passport, a 3.2 liter engine. We're putting in the uh, number six spark plug, I believe it is. Um, I have two three inch extensions. And um, what you have to do is you have to put the spark plug in here with the three inch on first. Once you get it down in here, you can hold this right here and put your other one in. If you have a wobble head, it may even be a little bit easier also, but I'm just using two standard ones right here. Don't drop your plug or you're going to um, mess up your gap. But anyway. And then once you get them two hooked together, gently put it in the hole so you don't mess up the gap and hand start it. I usually turn it around as far as I can down. Let you see that. I usually turn it down as far as I can by hand because you don't want to cross thread the, the, the threads in a head with a spark plug or you usually end up putting a new head on there or having the head redone. Alright, then when I get it hand tightened I just take my 3 8 ratchet and then I'll be able to slide it in there. And all this is 3 8 drive stuff. And put your 3 8 on there. You can't get all this in here at one time, but you can get it one piece at a time. Again, if you happen to drop your socket in there when you're trying to, to put it in there, make sure you pull the spark plug back out. I know it's aggravating, but you don't want to have your gap closed. And, That'll cause you problems, you end up doing it again anyway. Alright, you can pause it. Alright, and then when I take it out, I usually push my little button there and makes it come off easy again. And you reverse the procedure, you take, lift it up, and hope to God the socket comes with it. I usually put a little pressure sideways, I didn't know if you noticed that I was doing it on my middle finger. But the socket did not come out. Okay, so you just have to play with it. You know, we're going clockwise direction in order to tighten the, the uh, spark plug. So I'm going to put just a little bit of pressure back. I might have to use both hands. Okay, anyway, you just keep playing with it. It'll eventually come out. I usually try to pressure different ways and it'll come out. You can always go buy a new vehicle if this don't work. <laughs> okay, we got it that time. And again, you have to hold this socket. Don't drop it back down in there. You'll break the shaft on you. Spark plug. All right. Uh, when, you put, when you put your ignition coil back in, um, try not to bend this too much. I mean, you're going to have to bend it a little bit. Usually, I think can get it in here like this right here. And I, I kind of guide it so it don't drag the walls and put stuff up in the end of it. And just gently set it in there. Kind of get you lined up. I got the plug wire up under it. Anyway. I usually sh shake it a little bit, make sure it's sitting in there on top of the spark plug good because if it's not, it won't touch in the middle and then you'll have a misfire. Put your two 10 millimeter bolts back in and tighten it down. And I hope this has helped someone. Y'all have a good day. I've got an 8 millimeter on the end deep well. And um, you can go in through here like this and get on that back bolt. And I, again, I try to hand tighten as much as I can when I'm dealing with aluminum or bolts going into aluminum. And I know it's more time consuming, and, but it's a whole lot safer. And I just snug that side up first. And then what I'm going to have to do here is take all the extensions off and just use my deep well to tighten the one on this side. I snug the one up on the other side. And I'm going to tighten. go ahead and finish tightening this one all the way.
on over tighten these because if you do, you're going to rip the threads out of the door, you're going to bust the ignition, ignition coil. Let me put my extension and see what I have here. I got a, like a 4 inch and a 3 inch and a 2 inch. And I'm going to put my socket on there. It gives you a little flexibility. Now, if you have, they make a uh, an extension that has like a wobble head on it, it'll give it just a little bit more. I do have one, I just don't feel like dragging it out right now. This will work. But um, anyway, you can get in there rather than trying to stick your hand back in there because it is very hard to get the right length socket and everything to fit down in here. Okay. And you plug, plug your ignition coil back in. And again, I hope this has helped someone. And uh, y'all have a good day. We're going to fire it up now.